It's been three months since Norhan Awad was released from an Israeli prison, but she says she still doesn't feel free. We are prisoners released as part of a deal, so of course all eyes are on us. They told us we're under surveillance. Things haven't gone back to normal. I haven't left home since I was released. At checkpoints, I'm afraid I would get picked on. Norhan was convicted of using scissors to try to stab shoppers at a market in West Jerusalem in 2015. Her 14-year-old cousin Hadil was with her. Both girls were shot by a passing soldier. Hadil was killed. One of Norhan's first stops after her release was her cousin's grave. After being away for eight years, there are new challenges to face because there have been so many changes. I'd like to pick up my education, lead a normal life, and to tackle these challenges head on. Norhan served eight years of a 10-year sentence. Her family hadn't been allowed to see her since October 7th. There has been a 180 degree shift in the family since she got out. We were on aid. We were not allowed to contact Nuran. Now we see a remarkable transformation in her. She is positive. Despite her hardships in prison, she came out as an educated, cultured and successful person. Nuran was one of 240 Palestinians freed in November in exchange for 110 captives released by Hamas in Gaza. Ten of those Palestinians have since been rearrested by Israeli forces. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Ramallah, in the occupied West Bank.